congratulations, Lucas, to your third place. You came from the 10th spot to the third. Were you surprised about your perfect performance today? Uh, thank you, thank you for the compliment. But uh, I, my feeling was uh, that my performance today is not not so good uh, directly after the start. I had uh, quite problems catch the group uh, in front of me. But uh, in the beginning of the Alpine era, my feeling was better and better. And in the end, I was more lucky than the others. You were also the fastest on the day. What does that mean for you? Uh, it's. Uh, it's very good for me after after last year when I made the over victory and also the fastest time that I repeated. Yeah, for sure, just just the victory in the stage. But yeah, it's it's super. The next highlight will come soon. Oslo World Championships. How will look your preparation for it now? Uh, to the ski for me was uh, first goal of this this season, but. Uh, uh, World Tour, I had some, some problems with almost everything, but uh, in the end I was uh, lucky that my dream about top, top three was uh, reality. Uh, but uh, for sure I know that I have some, some reserve, in, especially in the classic style, in the distance races, and I, I have to work for it uh, uh, to forward to watch him. Congratulations, Peter, to your second place in the Tour de Ski. Yeah, for me, I had my plan was to attack Dario. That was uh, my only goal. It was, yeah, the the difference down to Martin Yax was on third was was one thirty. So I had just to attack Dario, and after two and a half kilometers, I think I was uh, forty nine seconds behind, and then I I catched seconds all the way down to the start of Alps Hermes. But I was tired when we reached uh, when we reached the hill, so. After a kilometer up in the hill, I was so tired that I had to find my own rhythm. Uh, so I was tired, and then Dari was racing faster than me again. So uh, and I had to slow down. And in the last last uh, climb again, I felt good, and I was catching him some seconds. But uh, yeah, I think he had good control. He 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 knew that uh, he knew that he's in good shape. So yeah, it's nothing to do to him with him today. What is your next goal after this tour de ski? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, now it's to relax and uh, take it easy some days when I come home. Then I will start training again and probably I'll race in Ottepe and the uh, Norwegian Championships before I go to the altitude and then I will do my last preparation for the World Championships in Oslo. It will be for sure the biggest, my biggest goal this season. So we will see you only in Otepe in the next World Cup race, or what's the plan towards Oslo? Yeah, next uh, next uh, week in Libet we send my little brother, so uh, he will do the job there, and uh, uh, I will be back in Otepe. To the Tour de Ski, what is the meaning of the Tour de Ski for you overall? Yeah, it's this season that it's my second biggest goal to fight. Uh, for podium in Tour de Ski, but uh, I, I, for sure I hope to, to win this year. I've been sec second three times now, but uh, it's difficult. And uh, when I had a little b bad start, uh, especially in Oberstdorf, uh, where Dario had a good, two good races, it was difficult to win this year. So, but for me, it's uh, Tour de Ski is always important. And next year, uh, the biggest goal will be Tour de Ski. So then the preparation will be only focused on this tour. What will you change then in the preparations? Oh, I, I will start training less in uh, in November and uh, maybe do uh, the altitude prep preparation a little bit different. I will do it as I do it before the, the championships. So I think that will be work better for me. Uh, so we'll, we'll see next year. Welcome to the press conference. Thank you so much for waiting so long and congratulations to Dario Colonia. What's your comment about the fifth edition of the Tour de Ski and your second victory? Uh, what a great week for me and uh, in a very good shape, so it was fun to race almost every day and uh, of course I'm very happy with the second victory on the Tour de Ski. Peter Nautuk were coming closer and closer in the first part of the race, were you afraid of him? 
afraid uh, I was a little bit nervous. It's not normal to lose so much time on six, six kilometers in uh, Cortina Toblach. I didn't lose any time, so I think uh, maybe the skis were not so fast, but uh, then uh, in the uphill, the, the gap uh, was bigger then, and then I, I feel comfortable, and then I knew it should, should be enough. Then. You won two times the Tour de Ski, one time the overall win of the World Cup, and you are also gold medalist at the Olympics. World Championships are soon. Will we see you there on the top spot of the podium? Uh, that's my big goal now, and uh, I hope I can have uh, the same shape as in the World Championships, and then I think I can win win a medal but now I uh, first looking forward to recover and give uh, some time the, the body to, to relax and then uh, come back and, uh, again in the World Cup. How in detail how will your way to the World Championships look like? Which races you will compete? Uh, if everything goes well and I didn't get sick I will race in OTP and then uh, training and preparation at home with uh, Swiss championships and uh, we quit uh, Libinsk, then maybe the Raman and World Championships.